Hi guys, if you have been using some large language model like ChatGPT for a while, you might be used to certain kind of input and typical response formatting. You must have noticed that by default, ChatGPT chooses to provide you information in paragraphs, tables, or lists, or some other format of its choosing. While this works most of the time, sometimes you want more control of how you want the output to look like, or how information in output text is organized, or some key information should be generated near the end, not at the top or middle of the content. Really not a format that large language model would use as a default option, so it needs to be instructed to do so. This is something the template pattern can help with. Template pattern instructs the large language model to produce its output in a format it would not ordinarily use for the specified type of content being generated. This is usually done by providing the model a glimpse, sample, or template of how the final output should look like. The key contextual statements that make the magic happen are of the form, I'm going to provide a template for your output. X is my placeholder for content. Try to fit the output into one or more of the placeholders that I list. Please preserve the formatting and overall template that I provide. This is the template, uppercase, pattern, and placeholders. The first statement instructed the model to follow your provided template to format its output and make it consistent with user's need. Note that this template is used when large language model is not aware of the intended format. If it is a well-known format, you can simply instruct the model to use that format and skip this pattern altogether. Like organize information in form of a CSV, the comma separated value format. You don't need this pattern to provide template to generate a CSV style output. However, if generating a table and want to be in control of column names and order, you should choose this pattern. If you have ever worked with templates, say in Microsoft Word, or filled any bank or government forms by using the provided template letter, you must be familiar with the concept of placeholders. Placeholder is the indication in template where you are supposed to fill in your information, leaving the other areas untouched. Placeholders in templates can be underscores, all caps, backticks, double quotes, angle brackets, etc. As user of ChatGPT, you would be instructing the model how the output should be inserted in template using the placeholders. Not only the placeholders indicate how where output needs to be added to the template, it has an interesting side effect that it implicitly instructs what not to add to the output. You can control the rigidity by using rigid or open-ended placeholders, like name in angle bracket would be a rigid placeholder, while summary of article goes here is a more lenient one. The third statement tries to constrain the model to comply with the provided template. However, there is no guarantee of that happening and additional output might still seep in or around the template. One additional concern with constraints is that this pattern actively stops large language model to provide additional information about the topic and restrict it to your template. Users should take that into consideration. All right, let's go over a few examples to understand this pattern better. One example can be that you are studying passenger airplanes and want the information to be presented in a particular format. So you would go along like, provide a list of passenger aircrafts in use by major airlines. I would be providing a template for your output. Follow the formatting and overall template of the output. Use the following template. Now, as you can see, we are specifying name followed by name of airplane in angle brackets to specify the placeholder, manufacturer, followed by name of manufacturer, history, and an open-ended or more lenient placeholder, brief history of aeroplane focusing on popularity and usage. And then engine, a brief summary of engine used and its specs in table format. Give this a try and come to admire the results. Not only the output would be in your required format, the model would understand the instruction within your template, like in history section. You could restrict such open playing field by saying, engine colon in angle brackets manufacturer dash angle bracket engine name instead of brief summary of engine and it would happily comply. It's entirely up to your use case. Another example can be to extract information about episodes from season one of your favorite TV show. The prompt could look like you would be provided with a template for output formatting. Capitalized words are the placeholders. Fill in the placeholders with your output. Preserves the formatting of the given template. The template is episode title, name, plot, one paragraph summary, and characters, three main characters. 
Hopefully you would be able to make use of the information in this video to use template pattern in real life with ease. Please like, share and subscribe this video if you enjoyed. Thank you. Goodbye.